Do you know? How much money does this channel make? More than $100,000. And what are posting them on YouTube? Simple lo-fi beats are relaxing music with some eye-catching visuals. Do you want to start your own relaxing lo-fi channel? If your answer is yes, and you don't know how to create music, or this kind of visuals, then this video is for you. Not only that, I will share the secret of the success of this kind of channel, so watch the video till the end. Let's dive in. This is Devit and you are watching AI Lockup. First of all, let's create some lo-fi beats. There are so many AI tools that can create lo-fi beats. Today I will use an amazing music generator tool called AIVA. With this AI-powered music generator tool, you can create any kind of music. I will put the link in the description. After visiting the AIVA homepage, click create a free account form here to start creating music. Now create an account with your Google or email account. After creating the account, you will be on this page. There are some tools in the left panel. If you are an expert in audio mixing or music knowledge, you can create or edit music with them. I will generate in auto mode because I have zero knowledge of music. Click on create a track from here. You will find five options here, from a style, chord progression, influence, preset, and more. As I don't have any knowledge of music, I will select form a style. Now you will find a vast number of music styles here. Almost every style of music is available here. If you are not able to find your preferred style, you can search for it. Let's search for lo-fi. And you can see different versions of lo-fi music. Now select your preferred style from here. I will go with lo-fi ambient. Click on the create button from here. Now you have to select the key signature, duration, and the number of tracks. In the key signature you will find all of the music key signatures, I will select auto. After that, select the duration. In the last number of tracks, I will select the highest number. After all is set, hit the create track button. And you can see AIVA generate 5 lo-fi tracks for us. Now listen to all of the tracks. If you are not satisfied with the track you can create more tracks. Click on create track from here and then select from a style, now select the key signature, duration, and number. And your lo-fi tracks are ready. Now download the tracks you want to use. Alright, our music is ready, now let's create the visuals. If you look at the successful lo-fi channels on YouTube, you may notice that they used simple anime videos with minimal movement. We will also create this kind of visuals. To do that, take a screenshot of a sample video. We will create a similar image to this one, and to do that, I will use a free AI art generator called SeaArt. After coming to SeaArt, we first have to create an account. To do this, click on the login button from here. Now create an account with your Google, Discord, Facebook, or email account. After creating the account, click on the generate button from here to access the image generator page. Okay, this is the see art image generator page. Here you can see some of my previous generation. This time instead of images, we will generate prompts with a reference image. To do this, come to the left tool panel and find the describe tool. After selecting the describe tool, click here to upload the reference image. Now upload the screenshot image. After uploading the image, hit the generate button. You can see that SeaArt generated two image prompts for us. Now we can easily generate images with this prompt. Before that, I suggest selecting a perfect checkpoint model to do this, click on the switch button from here. Now you will find a vast number of checkpoint models to generate images in various styles. This time I am selecting a random one. After selecting the checkpoint model, come to the basic setting. Here you can set the image quantity. SeaArt allows you to create four images at a time. Then select image mode. I will set the ultra high quality. After that, set the image size or aspect ratio. I will select 16 colon 9. Next, in the advanced setting, you can set the negative prompt, VAE, sampling method, seeds, and others. I am skipping it this time. Alright, now select a prompt from here and then hit the send button from here. SeaArt will take some time to generate the images, let first forward this part. And here are our images. It generates four images for us. Now select the best one and then download the image on your device. In the next step, you'll need to make the windows transparent. You can use any image editor of your choice, but if you don't have one at hand, just use Photopea. 
It's free and can be used online, so you don't need to download any program. Just click open from computer and upload your AI AI generated image there. Now, here on the left, you have all the editing tools. Just click on the lasso tool, then select polygonal lasso. Now, you can simply click at each corner of the window until the selection tool connects, then press delete on your computer. Just cut out all the windows and make it look clean. When you're done, simply click File, Export As, then choose PNG. Change the name and click Save. Now, review your finished image, and if you see anything you don't like, just go back to Photopy, make a few changes, and then export and save it again. Alright, what do we need next? Well, when we look at our video reference, we see that they have a winter village with small houses and snow in the background. So we need an image of a winter village with small houses. Let's come back to see art and generate an image of winter village with snowfall and then download the image on your device. And we are done. Now, we're going to combine the two images we created. And to do this I will use a video editor. You can use any video editor but I will use CapCut. Because it's free and easy to use. You can use it online even on your mobile phone. I will use the desktop version, as it is already installed in my system. Simply drag and drop the images into the media bin and then insert the village image on the timeline. After that, insert the living room image on timeline 2. Now adjust the village image size and positions to make it perfect. Okay, you may see our reference video has a beautiful snowfall which is missing in our video. Let's add some snow. So, let's go to the stock file bin and search for snowfall on a green screen. You will find some snowfall scenes. Insert one of them on the timeline and set the position under the leaving room. Now, we'll remove the green background. Select the chroma key option and click on color picker. Now, make sure you've selected the green color of the background. A fantastic result. Now in the same way, I will add a flame to this fireplace. Alright, our visuals are ready, now adjust the duration of all of the video clips and images. Keep their duration the same. After that hit the export button and save the video on your device. And here it is. Our lo-fi, relaxing videos are ready. Now let's talk about the most important part of the video. If you notice the big and successful lo-fi channel on YouTube, you will see that they are streaming live several lo-fi music videos 24-7. If you want success you have to do that. Let's see how you can go live 24-7. To do that, I will use an amazing streaming platform called Streaming Bots. You will find the link in the description. After coming to the Streaming Bots webpage, click on Start My Free Trial from here. Now create an account with your email address. After creating the account, your interface will be like this one. To start your live stream, click on the Create Live Stream button from here. On the next page, you will find two options. The first one is for the audio stream and the second one is for the video stream. Let's try the first option. With this option, we can create a 24-7 custom live stream with one background and multiple overlays and music. After selecting the tool, we have to upload the lo-fi audio here. I had downloaded two lo-fi tracks. I am uploading both of them. Now click on the plus icon from here to add them to the playlist and then hit the next button. On this page, we have to upload the background video. Just drag and drop the video we created some time ago. Now you can adjust the size of the background video. Ok, on the right side, you will find an option called Overlays. Where you can add any overlays to your video. Ok, come to the Settings tab. Now we have to add a stream key to start the live stream. Ok, come to the YouTube studio. Now click on the Create button from here and then select Go Live. Now you will find two options, right now and later date. As we want to start streaming right now, I will select right now. On the next page, we have to select the type of streaming. Select streaming software from here. Now copy the default stream key from here. Ok, we have got our stream key, now go back to streaming bots and click on the add stream key. First of all, select the platform. I will select YouTube from here. After that, enter the title of this streaming key. Next, paste the streaming key on this box. And in the end, enter the channel name. After all is set, hit the save button. After adding the streaming key come to the scheduling options. First, the start date, I will select start now. 
After that, in the end setting, you can select between never, keep it running 24-7, one-time content stream, or schedule a date. For the tutorial purpose, I will go with the one-time content stream. After all is set, scroll up and then, hit the start live stream button from here. After that, give a name to your stream and agree with the terms and conditions. After all of this, hit the go live button. And our live stream has started. Let's come back to the YouTube studio. You can see our live stream has started. Now if you go to the channel dashboard, you will notice the live video. Let's play the video. You can see that our lo-fi music video is playing. Although we used a very small video, it's playing in a loop. That's perfect. In this way, you can create live streaming lo-fi music on your YouTube channel and gain quick success. Now let's talk about the second option, video streaming. You have to upload the video with audio in this option. To try this option, we have to make a video with music. Come back to CapCut, add music, and adjust the visual duration. After that, export the video. Ok, now upload the lo-fi video on the Strembit video streaming option. Like the radio option, you can adjust the video size, add overlay, and others. After all of this, add a streaming key, set the settings, and then hit the start live stream. And here it is our video is live now. Alright, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience of lo-fi live streaming. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!